Hello fellow editors, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some awesome hand-drawn glowing effects as well as using some awesome presets from Cinepax for free. So why don't we just jump straight into DaVinci Resolve and see what we can create. To get the free pack that we're using today, slide on over to Cinepax.com and add the free sample glow effect pack to your cart and slide on over, fill out all your information. This is a free pack, you don't need to pay for anything. So just click it and you are set to download the zip file. All right, so once you have the zip file downloaded, go ahead and just double click it to open it up and you will find all the files that you need inside of there. So in order to use it, obviously you have to click all of them and drag them outside of the zip file um, onto wherever you wanna store these files uh, to just extract them so they're usable. So here in DaVinci, once you've extracted your files, I just went over to the media tab right here and I found those folders in the media browser right here, right clicked on them and just added the folder and subfolders to my media pool. So we are all set to edit. So let's take a look. So nothing goes better with glowing than break dancing. So I think, I think that's a fact. All right, oh, that's what we're messing with today. So anyway, let's see what was inside this pack that came from Cinepax. So there's some sample packs which come with some cool shapes, which we got like horns, uh, leg cutout, which are some cool spinning circle effects, a stomp, which is a nice little splash there, and some eyes, which is cool. Um, there's a few other sample packs, which is like some curves and uh, some sparks, some cool things, we'll mess with them, we'll mess with them. But what I kind of want to start with, although we can kind of start messing around here, I'm pretty excited to try out one of these transitions here. So each of these files are all um, Apple ProRes files and they are basically glow on a matte black background. So when you do drag them in, the first thing you're going to want to do with all of them is click on it, go over to your inspector over here and switch the composite blending mode to screen and that will give you your awesome glowing effect. So as you can see, now it's transparent and it's blending really well with the background. So anyway, this is a transition here, so I want to basically line it up between these two clips because this guy ends this clip by flinging his hand. So I think it'd look cool if we just kind of have a spiral kind of transition us out there. So if we use the arrows to kind of play through this transition here, you can see that it flips around and then it covers the screen right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that over and see if we can line it up. So right as it covers the screen, it transitions. Perfect, look at that. All right, so let's watch it. Awesome, that looks really cool. Uh, I think it goes really well with how he kind of kicks, uh, throws his hand up and kind of flips it around. All right, so when he does that, um, I kind of want to start by also dragging on this face here. So for messing with any of these other ones, let's just drag it in and switch the composite mode to screen again, which is all the way down here, very convenient. Uh, to mess with any of these, let's just go ahead, you just use your transform tool, just like any other thing, and you can go ahead and just move it around. I'm gonna put this on his face right around there. I can zoom in, scroll over here, and let me just grab the rotate, kind of line it up right around there and shrink it just a little bit. And let me move a few frames so I can see that this face kind of animates a little bit. So let me make sure it lines up with how I want it. And that looks pretty cool. I really do like that. So let's place that right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and inner transform, keyframe it so we can kind of animate it by hand. I sort of want it to follow his face a little bit, so I'm going to track it a few frames at a time here. Like right, oops, wrong one, one, two, three. Like move it over here, and then right there, and then as it disappears, I might have it animate over here in the corner so it just flies off of his face. So if I go back here and play it through. Let's go ahead and play that. Ooh, I like that. All right, that looks cool, that looks cool. All right, so it's kind of tracked to his face now for a second, and then it just kind of vanishes off of his face as well. So it looks pretty cool. Now when he's standing there, um, we can do a few other things. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in a few more effects here. We have like our sparks in the background. I'll do the exact same thing here. You just go ahead and switch it to screen mode again, and I'm gonna go ahead and reposition these and drag them around 
Um, I'm gonna fast forward through this part. I'm just gonna mess with a few of the overlays here and then why don't we look at some other cool tips. All right, guys, there's a lot of things happening here. I just did some more layering here. And if we play this through, we got a lot of cool kind of flashes happening in just a few seconds here. And I really like how it came out. Um, I was thinking of possibly speeding up the two um, splashes by his hands. Um, but I have a feeling, let me play it through again. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're already going plenty fast enough. But if you wanted to, of course, you could just right click on it and click change clip speed and that'll give you full customization of everything. Um, however, I do want to change the color of them because blue is not really matching with the whole red theme that we have going on, um, at least in this scene. The blue transition looks pretty cool though, but I do want to try to get this to more of a red. Um, so let me click on this and let's go over to our color panel. Um, now to mess with our color, wow, we have a lot of things open here. I'm gonna go ahead and close the clips panel, close the gallery panel. Let's just close a few things out here and even the effects panel. Now to go ahead and change the color of our clip here, let's open the clip back up so to make sure we have the right one selected. Um, I believe it's this one, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on our RGB mixer here and set it to monochrome. So that will set it to white as you can see. And after you do that, then you can go ahead and add a new serial node, right click and add a serial node. And from here, now we can just kind of mix and mess with the white. So um, you can see I can bring up the blue channel here, um, but I'll probably bring that down and kind of bring it into more of the yellows here. So we can kind of bring up the green a little bit, not the green, more, more the red. I'd like it to be a little bit warmer. And there we go, that's looking pretty nice and kind of bring this down. Now it's getting a little bit too red. I do want to keep some of the yellow in there, uh, right around there. And that's looking pretty nice. And we've successfully changed the color. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and get that on the second one as well though. And to get that same color over to the next one here, all I'm gonna do is select the clip that we just color graded and just click copy, click on the other one here and click paste and you can see it pasted all the same attributes, so now they're both the same color. Perfect, let's slip back over to the edit page and keep messing around. All right, now all these effects inside of the presets are super cool and fun to mess with. However, let's go ahead and try to show you guys how to make some of your own custom hand-drawn glow effects. So let's just jump on over to Fusion, of course. So click on this clip, click on Fusion, and let's start messing around. So make sure we have the right clip selected, which would be right here, clips, and it's this one. All right, perfect, close that out. And over here in Fusion, what we're gonna start with is click on your media in and click shift and spacebar, and type in background, which is spelled BG. Um, and your background's gonna act as our main canvas for our glow effects, which is all our paint layers. So now that we have our background here, let's shift spacebar again and add a paint so right there add that one click enter and finally add a glow to it glow and we're gonna go with a soft glow all right so click add uh, soft glow is going to give you a little bit more of like a heated kind of like blown out uh, white glow effect rather than uh, some of the other glows which more do like a multiply blending effect um, so I'm gonna go ahead with the soft glow so what we have is our canvas and then you have our strokes here and then we're taking our white strokes and we're applying a glow effect to them and then finally putting them on top of the footage so that's our thought process here now the first thing you want to do is click on your background and right now it's black so let's just bring the alpha all the way to zero so it's transparent and it's only going to show our paint layer that we paint on top of it so what we want to do here is I'd like to start painting. We're going to paint frame by frame, okay? So let's go right, where is it? So when he first comes in, I believe there's a part where he stops, starts stepping. Here it is. Let me go right there where he first hits. I want to start outlining his body, all right? So click on your paint here, 
click on multi-stroke. Now multi-stroke is gonna basically make it so when you paint, it is painting one frame at a time. So the next frame, your stroke is gonna disappear. So you can kind of animate things, all right? The other option is over here, which is just stroke. So when you paint it, the your stroke is gonna stay on the frame throughout the entire sequence here, all right? So if I were to paint this, as you can see, if I scroll through, it's still there no matter what frame we're on, all right? Now, if I undo that, we're gonna go ahead and just do one frame at a time, which is multi-stroke right here. All right, so here when he taps his foot on the floor, I wanna start painting. So let's go over here to our inspector and click on brush controls, and let's bring down the size of our brush a little bit. Uh, bring it up and maybe just amp up the softness just a tad. All right, and if we go ahead and sketch this out, we have a nice little glow effect there. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the arrows on my keyboard and go one frame at a time. So when he steps here, uh, it could be a little bit smoother. We're just gonna keep kind of outlining him very slowly here. So it kind of wraps up his body here. So let me fast forward through this part. You guys kind of get the gist of it. Um, and then I'll show you how to customize your, your brush a little bit after this, all right? All right, so I have a nice little kind of basic animation here that I made. So if we play it frame by frame, you can see it wraps up his body when he steps. And right around here, I just have it disappear. So what I wanna do is I kinda want it to pulse out a little bit. So if I go frame by frame here, um, as you can see, I kinda had it outlined. I'm gonna go ahead and make my size of my brush a little bit smaller. So it kinda starts to fade away. And I'm gonna have it start pulling off of his body. So it kinda starts to fall apart just a little bit. So let me see, let me see how that, how I can make this look. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's go right around there. And I kinda want it to sort of like start to break off of his body and go frame by frame and have it kind of there start to pulse out and break up a little bit. So let's see if we can kind of have it all right, there we go. All right, look at that. Okay, so if we play that through, now you can see I just basically drew it so it kind of breaks off of his body. So it goes up and then pulses off. And that looks really clean. That looks really nice. And I really do like it. Now I want to go ahead and change the color on this though. All right, so right now we have it at just a basic white, which is cool, but it's not cool enough for us because we're cooler. So let's go ahead and click on our soft glow here. And you can do a few different things. I think messing with the soft glow itself is gonna give you the best kind of color control here. So you can just, if you wanna want a very basic color, just turn off some of the channels. So just turn off red and blue and you get your green channel. Or you can go ahead and just mess with each individual channel. So if I want to pull out the red and just kinda up the, the blue, give it a bright blue with a decent hint of green, but let's kind of tone everything down just a little bit so it's not so bright. That looks pretty nice. And since the glow is affecting everything, as you can see, it will affect our whole stroke there. And it looks pretty cool, and I like it a lot. Awesome, look at that, if we watch that, and then it breaks apart. Very cool, very cool. All right guys, so I went ahead and added a few more overlays from the pack and just kind of animated them, put them together, and I drew a few more things, and this was the end result. So thanks for sticking around to the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. Just remember, it's really important to have a good balance between hand-drawn effects and then also using this awesome preset pack with overlays to speed up your workflow. Finding a good balance between using both resources is going to really amp up your work. Now, if you guys like messing around with this small little sample pack here, I highly recommend going and checking out the full-sized pack here on the website Synpax. Use sample code SAMPLE15 when checking out to get 15% off your order. The pack is super awesome. It comes with a huge variety of different glow effects that you can use to just amp up your editing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy editing as always, and have a great day.